Mr. Francina? Yeah. Hello, yeah. Pansy. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice, to, nice to meet you, Pansy. I'm your financial advisor. Oh. Have a seat, please. Sure. Um, thanks for coming today. I have been contacting you about what you require um, financial service. So this is your um, FSG, financial service guide. Yeah. I think it's a good way that we talk to each other face to face, make sure you understand and be clear about what I'm talking about. So again, thanks for coming. Sure. So, um, were you free? I advise you to read through all the information in this FSG. Yep. Well, it does tell you about who we are, what kind of service we provide you, and how much you pay, and how I'm going to pay. I'm sure, sure you're interested about that part. Um, additionally, I'm going to mention about complaint procedure yep. because, you know, sometimes the client's not happy about otherwise. So make sure that you have the rights to complain. Um, well, when you read through the information, you can yep. find out it's very quite general about the numbers, about the cost. Um, maximum, it will be $375, but unlimited otherwise and $7,500 for financial service advice. But don't be worried, don't worry about that. It's just a general number, it's to everyone. Okay. So once we go deeper, we give you personal advice. The personal information will be all about you. Every information relevant to you. Okay. So um, we'll talk about later when we go deeper. Okay, so don't worry about that. Um, another thing additionally is about how I'm going to pay. You're quite interested. I know that. Um, honestly, I'm not going to pay based on percentage about what you buy, yep. about what, what I'm going to sell to you. So I get paid by your student super, the salary. So don't worry, you can trust me definitely. Sure. Um, when you read, when you um, read the papers, you can see the bottom of the pages about complaint procedure. So when you're not happy with that, you definitely have the rights. Just let you know about that. Okay. But you can make complaint after you receive your advice. And if you didn't get response within 50, 45 days, sorry, 45 days, you definitely can use your FOS, which is financial ombudsman service. Sure. But we will try to avoid that. Of course. Yeah. You know. And um, this, this is all what I'm talking about, and I hope you, when you have time, register all the information. Yeah. And is there anything I can explain clearly? Um, I was wondering specifically um, how much this equipment would cost. It's zero. Okay. It costs nothing. Because this appointment is zero, is zero cost, and it got real lower to next time when we actually talk about financial service. So don't worry about that. Okay. Um, and uh, when you were mentioning complaints, I was just wondering generally how many complaints you had to deal with? Um, well, it's a hard question, but you know, when the advisor got complaint, it's not mean you're a bad advisor, and I'm not a bad advisor. Oh, okay. Uh, in my whole career, I got totally two complaints. Oh, okay. But we will try to avoid that happen. Of course. And you know, sometimes the clients and advisor, there's some misunderstanding, miscommunication existing between them. So. Yeah, we'll try to avoid that. Okay, sure thing. Well, that's that's basically all the questions I, I have. You answered everything else just, just okay. with that other information. Yeah. Okay. i take this FSG and read it at home, and I'll see you next time. Talk about you and your insurance. Again, thanks for coming, and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Not too bad. Take a seat, please. Sure thing. Hi. So. Today we are going to talk about your contribution to superannuation fund. Okay. Like you mentioned before, um, based based on what you or based on your condition, I advise you to contribute um, twenty five thousand dollars concession cap to your to your superannuation fund. Sorry, um, country concessional cap. Um, what what was that? Sorry. Ah, that's good. Uh, this is what why I'm here for. Ah. Um. Basically, you know, the government can uh, encourage people to contribute to your superannuation fund yep. to um, maintain your lifestyle for your retirement. And by supporting that, they give you tax concession. Okay. So there are two ways to contribute. The first one is compulsory. It's your employer's job. Every yep. year, 90% superannuation guarantee, SG, 
Now you press into your circulation font. So leave that part. Okay. The second one is voluntary. It's about yourself. How much money you're gonna to contribute to your superannuation fund? Yep. So based on your income level. Mm, yeah, I was can, thinking I I make two hundred thousand a year. I I contribute more. Yeah, I know, but you know, this is not like the more you contribute, the more tax you can avoid. It's not like that. Okay. It doesn't work like that. Um, I'll explain how it works. The concessional cap actually is about a number twenty five thousand dollars. If you enter that limit, if you didn't reach that limit, mm -hmm. and you're gonna be taxed by fifteen percent per year, which is quite low, isn't it? Yeah, that's. I'm hoping to do more. <laughs> okay, let's not talk about if you exceed the limit. Yeah. You're gonna be taxed more. I'll explain how it works. Um, for example, I'll give you a specific number. For example, if you contribute thirty thousand dollars. And then you will be taxed on the whole amount, 15%. Oh. Plus, wait a minute, plus the exceed amount, $30,000 minus $25,000, which is $5,000. The exceed amount, you're going to be taxed at 31.5%. So all of that, yeah, all wow. of that, there will be 46.5, including Medicare levy. So okay. quite high, isn't it? Like, so, what do you mean by, by doing it underneath the 25? Yeah, so it's not like the more you contribute, the more you're going to save the tax. Okay. It's not like that. And your goal is maximum, you um, maximize your superannuation fund benefits. Yep. So otherwise you stay within the cap, contribute no more than $25,000 per year. Makes total sense to me. Okay, thanks for putting that. I don't think about that. No, no, definitely. I agree. With this. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, how are you today? Not bad at all. Okay, let's talk about your insurance policy. Yep. And based on what I know, I know you're currently covered by life insurance, trauma insurance, and your IP income protection. Yep. And Another thing is your TBD, total permanent disability payment. Yeah. Yeah. And I would advise you is that stay within such super with your um, income protection, which is covering you 70 first 75% of your whole income level. Oh, uh, well, um, I could, but I'm not too clear on what the uh, inside super means. Uh, if you, do you mind just um, clarifying that for me? Of course, I don't mind. Um, it's a good question to ask because you know many people did not clear about what is inside super, what is outside super. Well, basically there are two ways to pay your premiums cost of your insurance policy, which is inside super and outside super. And inside super is the money you pay deducted from your e super fund. Okay. So you don't have to pay the money from your salary, from your extra cash flow. It's everything from your super fund. And outside super, which is totally different, it's got nothing to do with your super fund. You have to pay from your extra cash flow, from your salary, added to your regular expense. Is it clear? Yeah, I, I, I can see now why you say to go with the um, inside super option. So, yeah. I'll, we'll stick with that. Yeah, and having talked about that, um, do you know the positive points and negative oh, points no. about inside super and outside super? No, yeah. not, all, not specifically, no. I'm going to explain you. Uh, the inside super is kind of more uh, cost effective way. It is more cheaper. Like we mentioned before, you know, inside super got tax concession, government yeah. support. It's more cheaper. Um, and the money deduct from your super fund, so you don't have to worry about your finance. You've got more flexibility of your finance. Yeah. You can manage your money or something like that. And outside super, which is totally different, the money goes from your salary, from your extra cash flow, and you stop stop payment. You stop paying your premiums, and your policy going to be cancelled. Fair enough. Though. I can see Not why. Not happy to see that. Yeah, definitely. I think it might be better to stick with the inside suit. Yeah. So, um, talking about insurance income protection, I also advise you to update your details. Okay. Because you know your income level is not a fixed level. And you want to maintain your lifestyle after retirement. Yeah. And I advise you to update your details to match up your income level with the benefit you really collect. 
Yep. So don't forget and don't ignore that. Sure thing. Okay. Um, let's talk about your premiums cost. Okay. I'm sure you're interested in that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the priority, the first choice I give you is will roughly three thousand dollars per year and two fifty per month. That's mm. a bit high. Yes, um, it's just that, see, I, I was only aiming to pay a maximum of $2,000 um, a year when it comes to my income protection. Okay. Was there any, any um, policies that are close to that sort of target? Yeah, I definitely have a plan B. Okay. Um, but I have to say, the reason why I gave you the first choice is 3000 per year, the premium cost, because that one is you're going to benefit up to 65 years old. Yep. And you are not... 51 already. Yeah. So you got free 14 years to go to collect the benefit. Yeah. But if you choose another one, you think it's too high, you can't afford, or you got a problem, you can choose the 2000 one. Yeah. But you only can get benefit, you collect your benefit from up to 45 or 55 years old. Okay. So you see, just four years to go. It's a bit short, isn't it? Mm. Um. I see that my benefit's not going to cover me for that long, but it's the best I can afford with my current circumstances. So if we could, could we possibly go with that $2,000 option? Yeah, definitely. Fair enough. Okay, it's fair enough. Thank you for that. Okay. So, so far, are you happy with everything? Um, yes, now that we've sorted out the income protection, then I'll be happy with the rest of the policies. Yeah, sure. Uh, can I get authority to proceed with the document, please? Oh, yeah, sure thing. Um, so bottom of the page, please. Oh, okay. Um, I'd like to make an appointment with you next week. Let's see, are you free next week? Anything? Um, yes, I think I'm, I'm, I'll be free on Friday after 3. Okay, that's cool. Um, the next appointment is for, I want you to fill out the PDS product disclosure statement. Yep. Let's fill out together. Let's see the details. Make sure we understand and be clear about each other. Yeah. About insurance details. Sure. So, oh no, I'll be ready for them. Yeah. I'll see you next Friday. Thank you. See ya.